Dance and Noodles Experiment. First step, Ryan is going to pour the vinegar, which is in the orange tube, into this glass. Are you ready, Ryan? Yeah. Let's do it. Sinking or floating? Sinking. Good job. Sinking. Next step, you guys, you might want to grab a pan just in case it gets a little messy. What do you see? Oh, wow, the noodles are rising. Are the noodles sinking or floating now? Floating. Great observation. Carbon dioxide gas is attracted to the noodle surface. Bubbles increase the volume of the noodle, causing the density of the noodle to decrease, causing it to be carried upward by the more dense fluid surrounding it. Once the noodles reach the top, the bubbles pop upon exposure to the air. This makes the noodles more dense, causing them to sink. As more bubbles are released, the density of the noodle decreases in a rise. Second experiment, breathless balloon. to the second experiment. One, two. Can you show me two fingers? One, two. Good job. So we're moving on to the second experiment. It's called the breathless balloon. Do you like balloons, Ryan? Yeah. Can you find a balloon on that table? Uh, yellow. Yellow. Good job finding that balloon. So the key concept for this experiment is when an acid and vinegar in a base meet, they create a gas called carbon dioxide. If you can remember our last video, we did another video that was uh, focused on carbon dioxide. Same concept, baking soda and vinegar, but we have a new little twist here for you guys.
So here's where the adult supervision comes in. We're going to go ahead and take this balloon here. You see the balloon? Step back, it might pop. Whoa! Did it just blow that balloon up? A balloon? That's called carbon dioxide. Can you say carbon dioxide? Carbon dioxide. <laughs> That's good enough. Mixing vinegar and baking soda causes a chemical reaction, which creates carbon dioxide, a gas. The gas is what blows the balloon up. Bye-bye, did you watch it for me?